in New York State, you have two statutes of law. You have the New York State Consolidated Law, and you also have the New York State Unconsolidated Law. This goes out to the first African female New York State Attorney General. You had stepped the boundaries of the Federal Taxation Code. New York State do not have jurisdiction in requesting for any individual tax release records. No, they don't. You should know this. If you don't, then you do not know of Title 26 of the United States Code. And you most definitely don't know of Title 18 of the United States Code. Listen, there's a thing called Title 18 of the United States Code, Chapter 119, Section 2511. Now, you pay close attention to that. But, New York State Attorney General, now you're being sued by the 1968 President Trump of the United States of America. Now you have put yourself to, you have put yourself subject to what? <laughs> you put yourself in a position of you is about to be scrutinized. Well, there's an old saying, what's good for the goose, boy, it may just not be good for the gander. In the meantime, I gotta go. Good luck. And I wonder why only in New York City, the transportation, federally funded, state regulated, city operated buses known as the MTA port authorities are so wide. And if you look at this Muni bus, <laughs> so enclosed. Hey, it's been that way since the guy from Drexel University was running Muni. Now it's called MTASF Muni. I gotta go. In the meantime, Attorney General of New York State, oh boy, you just got yourself in hot water.